Hey, it's me, Jean Farrell, back with another exciting tutorial, or better to say, information about my new tool I created today. It's a the scatter tool for everybody who has no version R25. Now the good news, it's now compatible with R version R19 up to version R23. So I recoded uh, a similar thing as in Sima4D, the scatter tool for version R19 to R20, uh, R23, sorry. So right away here in Cinema 4D, um, yeah, first of all, you download this yeah, simple tool from my website. And as you, once you've downloaded it, um, then you uh, get it here. Maybe you get this folder here, go to this tool scripts free. And here you can see if you download it, you get this, you will get the scatter tool zip file. There are two folders. The one is the scatter R19 for the version R19. Maybe it is also compatible with version R18. I don't know. Try it out. Or version R17, maybe. And here you have the scatter tool for R20 uh, up to R23. So once you've downloaded, go to your Cinema 4D app roaming folder. Go to script uh, library, then scripts, and paste the according folder which is required for your version right away completely the folder into your script folder and you are done. So you also can reach this app Roma dating folder um, with this folder here. Sorry, I, I changed here quickly Cinema 4D to the English version. So, so here right away in Cinema 4D, um, we, yeah, drag this icon for the scatter tool. You can get the scatter tool extensions, user scripts, yeah, find it here or better to make here a um, palette or customize your, your layout. So search for scatter. Here it is scatter, drag and drop it maybe uh, here inside of your layout. And also what you need is the hair from the hair tool, the guides, yeah, add guides. This you need all as well because it's working with the hair object. So I quickly save here. No, I don't save the layer. So you have these two tools here. This is a scatter and this is the hair add hair tool. So what we need, we need a surface to draw our, yeah, our, what, our, yeah, our objects. So here I make a surface object, a plane. Then I need as well a plant to take, I, I want to paint um, plants. So I go here to my plants and pick quickly three simple plants here, maybe this one and this guy and maybe this guy. Yeah, that's it. So these guys here, sim quickly um, turn off these reflectance thing here. So <clears throat> as you can see, we have three guys. What is this man outside here? Reset weird so these guys we want to um, um, scatter so we choose our layer here our plane layer on which we want to paint the object later so when you choose the plane and call the scatter object you see um, inside the scatter surface is already the plane inserted um, if you don't choose any object, yeah, the thing is empty. So drag and drop the plane inside of this. And now you have here, um, you can choose here the object you want to paint on. First, let's start with one object first to, so drag and drop this bush inside of this object in exclude data thing. And as you can see instantly, uh, yeah, 
an object is created, you don't want that because you want that you want to paint them on the server. So here for simply click here, remove guides and he removes this thing. But as you can see here, you still uh, see here this bush thing. You don't want to see it. So if you if you um, turn this, or turn it off, then also in the scatter tool, the, this bush is turned off. So the thing is you group this thing and turn just the null object off so that you can't see it anymore. So in the scatter, you have the bush and then you can choose between instances, random instances and multi instances. In version R19, there is just the opportunity instances and render instances. So, okay. Now you want to paint, open it as a draw, select the draw. It's an hair object and choose add guides then the length should be zero and the count and the minimal spacing and then you can simply begin to draw here your objects as you can see let's turn on the physical sky i like this thing here as you can see now the objects are created now so in the scatter tool you have here the possibility if the offset is the origin of the object is not yeah working perfectly so you can here adjust the offset parameter so i switch here to render instances or multi instances and it's much faster here responsible in the editor view and yeah now you can here have the parameter look to camera on off turn it on as you can see when you're working with billboards the billboards always facing to the camera so important is that the billboards um, set axis is correctly here so facing to the object so it's already it's permanent permanent permanently um saving f facing to the camera sorry um yeah and also you have here the parameter random on and off so what this does, you can here vary the size of the object. Simply choose here, uh, um, alter this this value here, and as you can see, it's varying, it's varying the 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 size of the of the object. And also, you could now activate the rotation on and off. But since the objects are facing to the camera, you should all just use here this. Um, yeah, this rotation parameter, not this one because it's getting weird when you make this thing. Yeah, so to use these guys here, you can turn off the look camera on off, turn it off. It's also possible. Now you can really turn this off and really crank this up to a sick value and now it's it's now real 3D, no longer facing to the camera. It's also possible. Yeah, that's cool. Um, random size. And if you want another object, if you want to mix them, as you know it from the, yeah, from the cloner object, you can simply put this push a uh, bush bush inside this and simply drag this bush 16 here and instantly it's mixing up here the things and yeah so it's really artist friendly here to draw your objects it's amazing what billboards can can handle so every game engine is working with billboards still so um yeah unity and unreal engine and also the rendering is really uh yeah you get really nice results with this billboard um, as you can see here because we've got a lot of object with alpha channel go to your render settings in the options you can uh, increase here the rate depth maybe if you have 15 layers um, yeah um, then you crank it up maybe to 15 50 I turn it up to 13 it reduces a little bit the render time but not not that much so as you can see now no black things and everything yeah this is amazing look at this how it, how this looks and also you see here this this small issues here with this 
This comes from the tiling of the material. Simply choose both material and turn off the tiling. And now as you can see, you get, can get rid of these things here above. So what is if you want to draw maybe also stones here, yeah, maybe um, choose the layer again and call again the, the scatter tool. And now you want to draw stones inside. So maybe I take this stone here, resize it a little bit like this and put it also in the null object here and new scatter tool. I've put the stone inside, remove the guides and make you to multi instances, go to draw mode and now start drawing here my, my stones. As you can see, fantastic looking. Um, yeah, landscapes are possible with this thing. I like this, really, I like this. It's a workaround script, but it's it's enough for me. I think it, it does what it should. Um, yes, and now turn on, you don't need look to camera, turn on a randomize size on and randomize the size a little bit and rotation also. And now you can really vary the rotation of the stones maybe like this, something like that. And look at this, how this looks really fantastic. In my opinion, this looks great. I like this really. Yeah. So that is my scatter tool. It's free. You can download for the website. I hope you have fun with it. It's a really helpful tool in my opinion. So when you working with uh, making quick renderings or something. Yeah, the cloner object, it's so simplified. So and if you if you are ready to do, uh, yeah, you are you have done with your scatter tool, you can also yeah, make it editable and then all these setups, the cloner target drawer comes to the end, then you can still alter all these settings. That was my cloner tool. Uh, my scatter tool. I hope you have fun with it and I say goodbye and good night. Yeah.